Hello and welcome to Stocks Advisor channel. Here at our channel, we are looking for interesting buy opportunities for US based stocks. Today, we'll talk about Biochrist Pharmaceuticals Incorporated, traded at NASDAQ, ticker name BCRX. Well, uh, BCRX today did show minus 3.82%. After hours, we see 1% plus volatility. But the question is does it mean something? Are we going to continue further or are we about to have a correction, corrective move? And if yes, how actually to trade here? Well, to answer those questions, let's quickly look at the current chart. We can immediately see here that uh, after having really a nice period of uh, nice and beautiful growth, uh, now what we have is actually, uh, if you look carefully here, we had kind of uh, accumulation channel and, and that's very important, we see here this not really nice uh, line which is 1750 and it worked already third time three times here here and here as a resist and now in this setup it means that we could either continue further uh, this let's say opening triangle or we could go even further, break it and go lower. But anyway, at the moment, this is their support level. So the lower line, let's give them some names. So there is this level, uh, let's call it R1. Worked again as resist. So it means that actually we are going, not going to pierce it further. And this let's call it S1 support line. S1 is clearly here. So any trade that should be feasible here or that we would consider should be based on this because we could break it. So this one um, percent plus could be just a false call because this is just after hours and this is uh, actually end of the trading week. So some positive volatility could be there. Uh, more sp speaking more precisely, we are just actually here sitting in the vicinity of moving average 20, if you're careful, so the green line, which is normal and after hours uh, action. So it doesn't mean much in that sense. Of course, it could be a sudden break out in the positive direction. If this is the case, well, really nice. But if you look at other parameters, for example, MACD histogram, you see it's finishing positive wave and it wants to go lower. Of course, it could be like here we had by beginning of June, the second positive wave, could be, but uh, from the setup in general, looks like we're going to go lower. As I said, still possible breakout, but this is really least probable from the technical point of view. Maybe if some positive catalyst comes, but we can't bet on that. And if you look at RSI, we are in the middle from the descending trend on RSI wise, so it might even continue further. So everything says that we are most probably, uh, let's say, going here down for next week until we test S1. And once we test S1, then it could be rebounds, maybe again till 1750, maybe a bit lower, but still <clears throat> it's a nice level to, a uh, nice moment to buy. And then I would say sell in the vicinity of moving average uh, 20 or 50, because they also might start working as a resist lines. Then it will be really a confirmation of a new descending channel formed and actually a corrective move. In any case, if this is going to be happening, we will be from first instance, uh, let's say trading in these levels and maybe picking up somewhere here, um, starting from, um, let's say almost 15 all the way to, uh, let's say around 14. So this would be our entering position and on, the, on rebounds, we could go at least to 16. So meaning from 10 to 15%. So let's write it again, um, well, not again, uh, let's write it as our uh, profit taking note. So profit taking would be 10 to 15% here. The standard one, let's say, um, which is nice because on the clear situations, it's always good to have a quite, um, let's say, decent uh, profit taking opportunity. And then once you can take it, take it, don't hesitate because the situation might change and then you will be uh, not in time. Of other parameters that say we could indeed go lower is again flattening overall of the behavior of moving average 20 and 50. Similar situation was taking place from mid March to 
um, let's say mid-May, you see also this cost price to go lower. Uh, and then another setup upwards was, was formed. So it could be similar situation. So now how to buy? As I said, um, the first level to buy would be in the vicinity of S1 and a bit lower. So these would be our first technical levels to buy through. We can say it actually to be more precise about 14.05 and 15.06. So this we could, we could write as our uh, first technical level from where the rebounds is expected with uh, profit taking possibility up to um, 10 to 15 percent. So let's write it down therefore. And as always, this is the first technical situation. So what also could be happening, we could even break S1 lower and really go lower levels. This is also possible because we have a negative pressure or sucking in pressure here from what does it mean? It means that the distance between uh, next moving average, which is 200 and other 220 and 50 is quite high. And this void, um, let's say the void, in, so I'm speaking of this area actually, this void is quite high and if you look at the current situation, it's even bigger. It's up to 33%. So it, like an abyss, it, it actually can um, pull in the price. Not that it will pull it pull in completely, but till further levels. And this would define our next level. So the next level would be um, formed here. And this is really the level where you can buy uh, actually again. So this would be a little bit higher here. So this would be then uh, between about 12.31 and 11.60. So this is the second level. Uh, if it goes really there, it would be very strong buy. It's a technical level still. And um, if it goes there, it would be really, really strong buy. So we have already two technical levels. So we now know what to expect and how to buy and how to trade. So we just need to talk about risk, risk mitigation level or the third level, which we usually keep for uh, negative catalyst kicking in, if any. What does it mean? It means that if there is a bad news or company related or sector or market related situation globally also, then the price could unexpectedly go down, which we don't anticipate. We don't know um, what could cause it, but if it's being caused, then we know at least at which levels to buy. And this would be that level, very principal, actually double support because also it will be much lower than moving average 200. So it's not that we expect it because this is not a technical level. Um, first two are. Uh, this is risk mitigation level. So it, it's not that we expect it, but it's the level where we just keep money for. So we keep money to buy in if price really goes those levels. So while others will be exiting with losses, you will be just calmly buying there and make preparing yourself to make a profit. Why do we do it like this? Because as you have noted, we do not talk about stop loss. Uh, we don't follow that strategy. We instead we say, okay, it's we are okay to wait a couple of days, but we still want to exit with the profit. So we buy time, um, actually we buy money with uh, time. And those who do stop loss, they actually buy time with money. So they, they are okay to lose money. So they pay with money for the time in, in order to be able to trade again. So to enter into another position. This is usually for those who, who trade intraday or who do fast trades and sells, uh, buys and sells. But for those who do it on daily candles as a big in, big money traders on, and also those who do it as a secondary source of income, for them I think um, it's more useful and more appropriate to have to follow this strategy. And since people who seek advice in YouTube are usually one of those categories, I think it's the second category, usually those who seek for, uh, for trading as a secondary source of, of, of income or source of secondary income, for those, I think this strategy when it's okay to wait a little bit longer but still exit with a profit or in the worst case scenario with a draw is the best. So with this being said, if you like this approach, if you like this philosophy behind it, don't forget to subscribe, press the bell button. This way you will not miss our new videos. And speaking still of uh, BCRX, how to buy through because we have those levels but we still didn't talk on how to buy through. It's a classical 
Um, so it's usual trade. What does it mean? It means that we usually um, give an opinion to trade with five portions. So meaning that money overall that you want to trade within this position, you can split in five portions. Then you can buy with one portion through the first level. Uh, if the price declines to the second level, then you buy with another two portions through the second technical level and remaining two portions, we just keep for risk mitigation. And then actually it will be uh, best optimization for profit versus loss in this case. Some people ask me uh, how to trade if I have several positions and I trade like this. Do I really need to split all of them to five portions or maybe I can, let's say, save a little bit more money for the le third level and then reallocate uh, it to higher levels. Well, this is possible. It could be like upside uh, pyramid approach. But to talk about this uh, and more about this strategy and philosophy behind it, we can do at upcoming uh, lectures. So um, I want to say that soon at our channel, we will start a new let's say, um, type of videos would be uh, lectures and talking about trades, but not talking about trades, just uh, how we can find it on hundreds of other also very nice videos, of course, and very uh, other very nice channels. But this would be really a practical advice. We will, we will not talk about general philosophy. We will take some practical approaches and we will talk the philosophy behind that approach. So such way you don't need really to go in deep and try to fully fundamentally understand all trading but you can just look at this trade strategy if you like it if you like philosophy behind it you can just employ it into your let's say collection of trading styles and if not you can just keep it but then at least you will know why you do so and i think this way is like a combination of practical and theoretical when practical goes in front of theoretical it will allow you to enrich your portfolio of trading scenarios. So stay tuned. Soon it will be announced. And with this, actually, uh, good luck with current ticker by Christ Pharmaceuticals and see you at another episode of Stocks Advisor channel.